but evil lurks in the hearts of men. The shadow knows. <laughs> Cold presents The Shadow, the man of mystery who strikes terror in the very hearts of sharpers, lawbreakers, and criminals. Today, the Temple Bells of Nebon. Friends, if you want to be sure that the fuel you get to heat your home this winter is safe, healthy, and economical fuel, then by all means, buy Blue Coal, the finest of Pennsylvania hard coal. Remember, this superior quality anthracite has been colored a harmless blue at the mines so that you can recognize it at a glance. So take the guesswork out of your fuel buying. Get America's finest anthracite. Ask for Blue Coal by name. Order a supply tomorrow. The bell, Shadow. The bells of Nita. They will reveal you. Your third mistake, Sadi. And your last. <laughs> no, it is your mistake. And your last. This is the end of your career as the shadow. Make this a large evening, a couple of hours at the Club Caliph. Does that intrigue you? It's lovely, but not too late. I have an appointment at 10 in the morning at the Women's Club. They're trying to get some action on this terrible narcotic situation. Mm, yes, I read about that. Oh, the stuff's being peddled all over town. They've found school children using it, society women. Why, it's already caused a half dozen suicides. Yes, I know. It's terrible stuff. Oh, it needs the shadow to get at the bottom of it. Yes, I know, dear, but for tonight, I, I do enjoy just being myself. The Mount Cranston dilettante. Let's be the shadow only in real emergency. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they tell me there's a lovely Indian dancer at this new club, Caleb. Indian dancer? Mm-hmm. You know, there's the place just there. Club Caleb, driver. Yes, sir. Lamont, you are going to do something about it. You've started already. Perhaps. Well, here we are. All right, driver. There you are. Thank you, sir. Oh, that looks like young Jerry Gleason just going in. Yes? Well, if that young man's father, I'd spank him and keep him home occasionally. Well, son of a wealthy sire. Mm. Yeah, let me have your coat. I'll check it with mine. Good evening, Jerry. Oh, oh hello, Miss Lane. The father and sister well? I haven't seen them lately. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't wait right now. I've got to see someone, and it's important. I'm sorry. But, Jerry... Hello. What ails young please? I don't know. He seems awfully upset about something. He doesn't look well, either. Pale and shaky. Mm, you're right, he doesn't. Something curious about that boy. Well, let's go in. <laughs> May I show you to a table, sir? Uh, take this table by the dance floor, thank you. Oh, there's someone getting up to speak. We seem to be just in time for the main attraction. Apparently. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we take pleasure in presenting the fascinating and beautiful dancer of the Far East, Sadi Bel Ada. For our first number tonight, she will give you the dance of the cobra. Zadi Bel Ada. Look, isn't she lovely? Yes, a real thing too. Real Hindu. It's odd, you know. Goodness, look, she's taking a snake out of that wicker bag. A live cobra. Oh heaven! You know the cobra is connected with the old Indian mysticism, the most ancient of magic. See how she quiets the snake. Makes it sway to the motion of her hands. Mm. It's a form of mesmerism. We've never improved on that with all our modern psychology. I hope its fangs have been removed. Well, they undoubtedly have. So, this is the one they call Sadi Belada. Jerry Gleason with that strange look in his eyes. An epidemic of narcotics in the Sadi Belada. Graceful she is. <laughs> she keeps looking over here, Lamont. Yes. It's 
coming this way. No. Souvenir for the beautiful lady, sir. Oh, oh, a bracelet. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, fair lady. Ah, you know the tongue of Mother India, sir. Only enough to make a small prayer. Only enough for that. Sadi bel Ada. It is good sometimes to know a small prayer. Hmm. Just in case of an emergency? Yes. You are very wise, son. In case you should meet someone who could destroy you, son. I see. Cela. Just what did he mean by that? I don't know exactly. Funny sort of thing. He seems to know something about me. I'm trying to recall where I've seen that face. Casey! Look, she's stopping at the table by the door. Why, it's young Jerry Gleason. She handed him something. Good Lord. He's going out with her. What's the matter now? It just struck me, Margot. That boy's face. The color of his skin. You mean drunk? Yes. The poppy of India. Oh, but not Jerry Gleason. Oh, that'd be too awful. And our old friend Claire Gleason, his aunt, who's tried so hard to steer him straight since his mother died, it would just about kill her. Come, Margot. We must do something. We're more. going to. I did come here tonight with a vague idea that this Indian dancer might have some connection with the thing. With her veil threats and Jerry's interest in her, I'm pretty sure but now. What are you going to do? I think the shadow will pay a call on Sadi Bellada in her dressing room. I think the shadow can strike back. Yes? Uh, can anyone overhear us here in your dressing room? Oh, no. What do you want, Alexis? A message from the captain. What then? Tomorrow is the day. The police are getting closer. We sail tomorrow night. At eight. I am not afraid of the police. But there is somebody else I am not sure about. Do you took care of Jerry Gleason? I gave him his medicine and sent him home. But you bring him tomorrow night? Do not fear, Alexis. Jerry will be with me when we sail. <laughs> I have a way to let him know. Good. But the air blows from that window. Close it, Alexis. Uh, too bad we have to terminate. The grand success of Sadi Bel Adam. The club caliph? Yes. But as the Americans say, business is business, yes. And we still have a small business with the rich papa of Jerry Gleason. <laughs> no doubt the richest part of our business, sweet Sadie. Yes. The rich man will pay well. <laughs> <laughs> Who laughs? Where are you? Speak. I am here. In the shadow. But I'm afraid you can't see me. Speak. And say who you are. Have you never heard of the shadow? Oh, the shadow? So it is you. Have I not somewhere in the past seen your face and known your name? I think so. Uh, did you enjoy yourself tonight? I warn you, Sadi Bellata. Leave the Gleason boy alone. The boy to whom you give the evil drug. I have no fear of you, Shadow Side. I hold a greater power. I hold the power of the temple bells of Niba. Huh? You command the temple bells of Naban, do you? Yes. Either you lie, 
before you desecrate a great gift. Put your strength against mine, Whitey Fondy, and you will see how I desecrate that gift. I can cast your little spells aside and make them nothing. I can kill you. Kill me? The Shadow Sadi? Yes. If you dare to come to me again, will you come? Who could refuse such an invitation? Especially when made by so charming a lady as yourself. Yes, I will come. And be sure you don't mistake my voice. When I do come, Sadi Bellada. <laughs> Well, what is it, Sergeant? Uh, excuse me, Commissioner. Old man Gleason is outside and insists he's got to see you. Gleason? You mean Andrew Gleason? Sure, the big Wall Street banker, friend of the mayor. Shall I let him come in? Or... No, all this name deficiency word doesn't do any good. I want to see you, good Commissioner. All right, Mr. Gleason. What the devil is this town coming to? Well, if you'll tell me what you're getting at... My I... boy is what I'm getting at. He's lying home there with the worst case of delirium tremens I ever saw. Spent the night sopping up liquor in these rotten hunky tonks. Mr. Gleason, if you think the police department's going around playing wet nurse to all the spoiled kids in this town... It... Is this what you came to see me about, Mr. Gleason? It certainly is. Well, I happen to have more important things on my mind right now. Then you better get this on your mind. Because if you don't, I'll see to it that there's somebody here who does. And I can do it. Good day to you. Well, seems like this was a busy day, sir. What with uh, drunken college boys and millionaires. This is another of those... Uh, Commissioner Weston speaking. <laughs> Why, you, you... Don't lose your patience, Commissioner. The shadow has information that may help you. Young Jerry Gleason is becoming a drug addict. What? Yes. A victim of this flood of drugs being peddled on our streets. It might cost you your job. Are you interested, Commissioner... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, while we're waiting for the shadow to return, I want to relay a bit of information I'm sure homeowners here in the New England states will find particularly interesting. When buying your winter supply of fuel, bear this in mind. Anthracite coal is unequaled for home use. It is not a flashy fuel that burns furiously for a little while, then dies down completely. On the contrary, folks, anthracite burns slowly, steadily, evenly, all day long. And so enables you to maintain an even, healthful room temperature. That's why anthracite is called the solid fuel for solid comfort. And friends, remember this. Furnaces, cook stoves, and space heaters in this section of the country were especially designed to burn anthracite. So... Insist on anthracite, but get the best. Order Blue Coal. It's America's finest. Blue Coal is mined by the Glen Alden Company, the world's largest producers of Pennsylvania anthracite. To guarantee you the greatest heating satisfaction,